Hello everybody, really, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. Last episode we did run with the Nibbler Drifter. And we won. Anyway, it's time to pick a new ship. Um, you also notice there's a still continue here. Um, because it's an experiment. Namely, what happens if you use a modded ship that starts with a med bay, but doesn't have room for a clone bay, and you buy a clone bay? The answer is... You keep the med bay. You still lose the 50 scrap for buying a clone bay, but you keep your med bay. Anyway, time to pick a ship. Maybe this time it'll not be playing in vanilla. <laughs> 3, 2, 1... Nope, we're playing both, with ship number 79. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. 79 is... Federation Afterburner by Turn Tech Biologist. All right. See when I get everything installed. All right, let's give it a shot. There it goes. Federation incinerator type A. Apparently, it's potentially a little bit too overpowered to start, but we'll see it when we get to it. There's no pictures on it on the form, so that's a bit of a small problem. But you know, we'll see it when we get to it. I guess. So we usually do. Anyway, one of the Federation's pride and joy is designed to set the enemy ship aflame, ooh, and cook the crew, ooh, designed to withstand fire in itself. It has been dispatched to ignite the rebel flagship so the Federation fleet have an easier attempt destroying it. Shouldn't that be Federation fleet has an easier time? Anyway, oh my god, it's big. Alright, so no shields, but we do start with cloaking. We've got fire suppression and O2 masks. Four shots on a fire beam that is indeed quite potent. Also has hacking. Um, okay. Well, let's give it a go. Uh, let's see. String uh, la 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 la. Flash room quite simple generic. Only thing that kind of is like one part in the front. Okay. Plus my system include the speed and drone system. At the start? Alright. A light missile defense drone. As last resort, stun augmented hacking and mind control. So we never have to deal with cloaking. Advanced time combat drone might cause problems, but we'll see that about that them later. Main guns, bristle launcher, missile launcher. There is your problem. They are disconnected though, so with a bit of luck we should be able to take those out pretty quickly. Ion burst and on a fire beam. Alright. Missile equipped combat drone. Sucks. Missile landed defense drone and advanced boarding. Okay, so it's missiles galore. Oh man. Uh, shield recharger and O2 masks. Okay, so no fire suppression at least. Okay, I'm gonna send you to there straight away. Alright. Well, let's try not to run into too many Yai ships and drone ships. Saw nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, may as well, right? Okay. Send you back there. Save. And let's go. For reals, do we start with augments? Yes, we do. I Meaning we can go to store, sell both straight away, get a nice little extra thing there. I mean, fire suppression stuff doesn't really strike me as something I'm really gonna need. Yeah, I know it's gonna come in handy here, but. Okay, we're gonna set the fire beam here, it's not gonna help us here anyway. Um, let's do a long cloak. Oh, are you kidding me? Two misses? We're just getting started. Oh, see, they know how to do it. Ah, good grief. On the right side, we don't have to worry about the fire too much. That's a thing. Uh, 
Yeah, I hope they do. So what's for dinner? All right, why don't you go fix that? And you can quickly go fix that. Good to go. Good to go. Alright, let's go sell our augments. <laughs> More like an overkill, but sure. Um, that's not too bad. Okay, okay, ready you. Xiao Mei. So what's in that anyway? Uh, we got 25, 50, 50, 50, 50, 52, brings us to 97. No thanks. <clears throat> I had rice yesterday myself with chicken and pineapple. Because it's bloody hot. Back to there. That's not too bad. At least it doesn't sound too bad. Wait for the fire beam. Okay. And it works, and I mostly chucked it in there because it's refreshing. Yes, it's also a tiny little bit overpowering as far as flavor goes, but it works. All right, pretty much entire ships on fire now, which is where we want them. Um, one, two. It's going to be difficult to blow them up entirely, I think. Well, to kill the crew, blowing them up is going to be a cinch. So I guess we're stuck waiting for... ...oxygen to trickle out. Well, there's a human. Uh, there's one of the mantis dead. Fire is going out. If it doesn't spread, and then doesn't. Okay, good. Let's put a fire in here. Give the rockman something to do, which is anything but repairing oxygen. Come on, come on. Ah, they fixed it. But the rockman's dead. I can probably just burn you to a crisp before. Wait, wait for him to go and fix something. And then set a path. Well, that's a disappointment and a half. It does? I thought it didn't. Maybe on the ice ships? I will kill you, Mantis. It might take a while, but you will be dead. Even if it means blowing up the ship. You should rather not do, of course, but, you know. Well, that's going to be the end of that. Auction's gonna blow out, that's gonna blow out. Well, might as well kill yourselves. I don't know if it does. Well, this might be the best time for us to try that out. So, not knowing any better, let's upgrade that and we can actually see it happen. So yes, that 40 scrap should have gone to shields, but because I feel like we're slightly powerful and I kind of want to figure out whether or not it repairs or not, we're doing it like that. Alright, intervene to defend the outpost. A 
85s are evil. Uh, let's blow them up, hopefully. There we go. And I am one of those people. <laughs> okay, so the internet's slightly repaired, and we'll hit them with a the fire beam, and then we'll know for sure whether or not it repairs. First up, what happens on the ice ships? I'm slightly under the impression that it doesn't. I don't know why I should feel like that. But... Hello, average gamer. All right. Let's see. Would have helped if it actually started a fire, but there you go. <laughs> well, we can give it one more try. I should have cloaking back, so we could dodge another one of his volleys if need be. Ooh, some bad luck on your end then. Oh, come on, people. Uh, it's too late. We'll try it on another one then. Yeah. At least we got some good stuff out of that. Um, Halberd Beam Drone. That sounds dangerous. Ah. For some reason, they all feel like they need beams. All right, we have hacking. Let's use it. What is the most prominent room to hack? Um, shields because it's center. Engines because it stops them from running. Med bay because it's evil. Mm. Let's do med bay. Level 2 might be at that. Okay. Let's do this thing. <laughs> well, that didn't do much. Alright, so they are repairing weapons now. Are they a rather rapid pace. Let's give them one shot. I might as well give them two. They're already repairing a little bit. Okay, so there are repairs being done there. If we set this thing on fire, what happens then? It does not reset repairs. As I thought it didn't. He's dead anyway. I'm just hoping that <coughs> shields don't blow up. Are you sure I'm that though? Oh come on, is it just impossible to start a fire where the last few people are? I'm not going to hit if I don't have to. It's going to have to go fast though. And I don't think I can anymore. Oop. Nailed it. Okay. Um, take them as prisoners. It is. And I love it. Okay. There goes the ship. See, we saved them from a fiery death. Kind of. Alright. Yeah, no, and it's generally the best idea because even if you save them, it doesn't mean you're gonna get a good outcome, but you know, I kinda wanna see where stuff can lead. Alright, so let's set that on fire. The drone's gonna go and help, which means we're gonna set that on fire too, if possible. Okay, good. Which means the drone's gonna bug out soon enough. Unless the mantis nails it. Let's 
It's not smart, is it? I think you can just get ambushed as well there, so... And hey, if you need to fight, we, we fight. We got a Mantis and a Rockman. Alright, so the ship is blowing because it just doesn't have... anything decent in regards to hull strength. Why are you flying such flimsy ships? Weapon charge booster. That's nice to get. Eh, not a big fan of nebulas, to be honest. Well, let's go. Uh, Captain Edition and SMPK. No need to hack. God damn it, 85s. Sack him, he might get away, I'd rather not have him do that. Okay, I should take out the weapons. And that blows him up. Good. And we get our drone part back anyway, so who cares? Let's go here, we'll do the quest then, and then we'll uh, see how lucky I get. Uh, fire off to incinerate our crew. Pretty scanner ship to say, I appreciate you could help. Bandit is made off with some very important cargo, though I doubt today they have any understanding of what it is they stole. <laughs> yeah. They need to cover ship intact. Okay, cool. That's another. Alright, let's see if the weapon lockers are closed or not. You arrive in neutral zone and meet the rebels negotiators aboard a small civilian orbital. The leverage gain allows you to convince the rebels officers to delay the pursuing fleet. Well, there you go. So you can now go here, get nothing, be disappointed that we did the entire thing, and then, you know. Things and other such shenanigans. Like, I'm gonna hack him again because I just know I have been for some bad luck right now. Go, go, 85! I also don't want you on my team ever because you have little value to a human life. <laughs> You're starting to get a fan base. Okay. So he's not running, this seems like a good time to test out the thing, whether or not fire resets repairs on AI ships. I don't think it does. It just seems like an odd thing as to why would it do that. It doesn't stop repairs when you send in your own crew. Why would fire be any different? <sighs> okay, let's give it a go. Uh, yeah, fire resets it here. Huh. Odd. Yeah, shields are available for purchase, but so far I'm doing alright. I discover nothing extraordinary about the specific wreckage. You go about salvaging what you can. Yeah, cloak is one thing. Another one would be a pre-igniter, which generally leads to overpowered ships. Late game, rock plating, a whole crap ton of it. Um, defense drone, Mark II can do it. There's plenty of alternatives for... Uh, but yeah, you're not gonna go with shields for, without shields forever. That's just suicide. But well, people have done shieldless runs before. Whoever would join his former clan? How the hell would I know that? <clears throat> All right, let's get shields. See if limited time offer gives them to me cheaper.
Can I get that Neural Stunner too? It is tempting, admittedly. I think I will get it too. Fire plus Stunning Crew, yes please. Oh goodies, it starts off at level 1. <sighs> New modder, I would assume. <laughs> All right, well, let's get a weapons upgrade first. I think this is going to be a hell of fun. Knows a some aliens in this sector. Wondering if they are still around. Can you still call them aliens if you know them? <laughs> Is anything strong enough to break through that ceiling, though? human eater, so are they aliens? Okay, that's one way to look at it. It's not a way to look at it, but it is a way to look at it. Give it one shot. I suppose so, yeah. They're gonna burn, little human man. Maybe not to death yet. You ain't getting out of this one alive. You kill them by suffocating them. Let's stun you so we don't actually get an evasion, or at least a small... Oh, no, won't get an evasion. Wait, will we? Can a stunned pilot still dodge shots? If he does, then I commend him. Goes out too. Wait for the fire beam. Now let's shoot two shots. Bring that missile you know, online straight away. It's like, you know, I'm a little B word and I need that missile. Yeah, but stunning is like something different, right? I mean, if you're fighting someone, you're still kind of like knowing what you're doing. With all you know, he's smashing his keyboard with its feet or something. You don't know what he's been through. Yeah, I know that. Oh, uh, well, yeah, if you put it like that, then yeah, probably. Well, the rock's having fun. Auction's trickling down ever so slowly, though. Okay, good luck. Not. Now that one missed. Yep, sure does. 
But it can be done. Yeah, but this ain't the Normandy, is it? This is a random pirate rebel fighter. Get him, get him, get him, get him. He's still in the auctionless room. Get him. Yes. Sweet. Uh, level one oxygen, though. Not really spending a drone part on it. I don't have too many of those yet. It's going to be a strategy later, level 3 hacking on oxygen, but um, for now we're trying to get shields online, which now apparently requires me to invest a hundred more scrap, because whoops, forgot about that. Which means I'm going to get the same thing with drone control, aren't I? Oh, great. Oh, well, let's cloak. Um... Make sure all of our shots land. So we're gonna hack shield, I guess. Uh, as long as cloaking, as long as you activate hacking before it blows up, otherwise you're still screwed, though. Let's hack it now. See if I can take both the weapons and that offline. Okay, not ideal, but. Could be worse. Sec. That's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? That drone just keeps on causing problems, isn't it? Uh, if I hit it once, it should go down and stay down. Okay. Whew. And here you can also see that even a disabled drone in a room does not reset repairs. Yep, it does. Oh, you're dead. Uh, engines are gonna blow soon. It's gonna be tricky to see if we can kill the crew on this one. Let's get another fire going in there. It takes health away quicker. Nope. Alrighty then. Screw you too. He's gonna move into piloting or auction because everything else is on fire. Yeah. And goodbye, ship. Pledge to do what you can, and then just ignore the whole thing. <laughs> Which one was the new one? This one, I guess, right? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Don't care. <laughs> we are not allowed to do piracy. Well, there's something we could sell. We're too scrap away from getting shields online. Battle stations. <laughs> Alright, don't take my weapons offline, don't take my weapons offline, don't take my weapons offline, I don't care, fire! I knew it was gonna take my weapons offline. I'm not going to get drone control, because I'm going to have to spend too much for it again anyway. 
Again, I'm dealing with a lot of them. Cool. Alright. Next jump, we can get shields online. What was that about luck? <laughs> this doesn't sound me as particularly lucky. Limited time offer will not give me level 2 drones though, it'll give me level 1. So the problem still remains. Okay, if I'm gonna deal with asteroids, so are you. I'm gonna be hammering hull, that's for damn sure. Um, no. Even if I'm in an asteroid field, I'm not gonna do it. Dude, I might even kill the crew on this. Uh, no, I'm not. They're almost dead. Auction's gonna blow. Are you sure on that? So it's still stupid that I have to do it to begin with. Okay, I'll fix that breach in a moment. Not right now, though. We have to leave. Well, we're not sitting on it. We're getting our butts out of there. Okay, is anyone available for repairs? Not quite, I don't really care about the breach anyway. Okay, let's get to it then. Fire the neural stun, fire these. And fire. Is just me or am I always getting Rockman again? Friggin' fire curse. And they said I was mad. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Vanilla might not have do it, but it is possible. Hacking, I'm not gonna hack it. There's no point. It's just gonna take a little longer. They're not gonna get it fixed anyway. So let's just wait. A lot of fire this one. You must hack it. Hack it good. As long as they're not going to try and fix their auction, there's no real need to speed things up. We're good. We'll just keep Neural Stun in and they'll die eventually. Make sure we keep as much fire burning as we can, which will drain the auction fast as well. And this should be over rather soon. Well, it's too late now, they don't have a system left that I could hack. He's committed to fixing shields even though he's suffocating, what a guy. What a guy, we got a charge B Mark III, which is not a bad weapon, but... Um, we have a shield layer, and it's huge. <laughs> Alright, let's go fix that breach now. Jump around the nebula a bit. Mm, it's not bad. It's rather short, but it does up to four damage per room. Yeah, it's not going to be the best against the missiles or anything, but. You know, it's better than nothing. 
Uh, we want their shields down, I would reckon. Well, that interrupted my fire beam. Um, I don't think I need to hack. Would be nice to see what's going on in there, but... We actually had a system. Look at you, being all fancy and stuff. They haven't given up on fixing that yet. But they don't seem to like it too much anymore. Not sure what's going on in Clone Bay. Auction's on fire. Clone Bay is not. Nope, oh, nope, there it goes. Um, well, just set every room on fire. Yeah, it is. And on this flagship, I think even two might do it because it's got two missile launchers, so... Two missile launchers, a fire beam, and an ion gun, so I think I even two would be enough. Uh, let's set their doors on fire so the fire can spread more easily. Is there anyone left alive? Not if you have cloaking. I'll probably get level 3, but... The Rensur Beam. Without beam and the fighters, and you can handling demands constant suppression of enemy defense to be effective, very short range and very slow strike speed. Fancy that lads. Do we need power for something? No, not really. Alright, let's try to get level two shields up. Or at least have the opportunity for level two shields. Or four of them, depending on how you look at things. Anyway. Yeah, looks like it. All I need is a fire beam, though. Attack the pirate. Do it now. Okay, where the hell are you? It sounds like one mantis, so you go and... Once he gets through, we'll send out the other one, too. Okay, go. We'll cloak the eye on. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright, you go enjoy that. Okay, you go back to sensors, you go to doors. Uh, actually, you stay in shields. Well, somebody's having a little bit of problem. That ain't me. Okay, one shot will do. Sing. Well, unfortunately, I do not have a glaive. I have something better. For long encounters, that is. Okay, so they're running all over the place. I don't know what's on fire at the moment, but it does look like much is on fire. We'll have to change that, I think. Well, that's one way to end your life. They are trying to escape. That's gonna be difficult with your engines and piling on fire. But hey, you're welcome to try. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and cannot do. Shields are on fire, doors on fire. Teleporter seems to be the only safe place. Either that or it's also on fire, but you'll get nowhere else to go. Okay, 
Seriously though, what's going on? Is that final dude a rockman or something? There he goes. Federation contraband. No oxy. It was on fire, so. Um, I guess we'll say, are you good at anything? Nope. Nobody is except our gunner. He's already having fun in life. Okay, time to go. Decent second sector, I guess. Not much to complain about. Continue. Um, pum, pum, pum. Attack the automated ship. Are you attacking my clone bay? Oh no, clone bay. It has happened before. Well, fire it even, at least the gunner is going to get something out of it. Yep, you're almost close to level 2 already. I'm telling you, man, that guy is enjoying his job way too much. Disposal or level control. Level controlled. Let's go burn out some rebels. Apparently that's what this ship was made for anyway. Uh, your crew. Talk to the human. Human crew member complains that the light in their cabin is not working. Well, you're just pushing buttons. I don't think you need much light for that anyway. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'm presuming the series feel free. Just for becoming, liking, and or something if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on next episode. Bye everyone.